Thank you for spending the next five minutes with me before we head off to lunch. I'm Melanie Postma, and I am product marketing manager for VictorOps, which was acquired by Splunk last summer. So we have a big group of us here, and my colleague Bob Cotton will be talking about deep Kubernetes metrics tomorrow. But today, right now, I'm going to talk to you about taking action with observability and context. Hint, Grafana Cotton is part of this, or Grafana is part of this. So essentially, you know, we have spent decades optimizing application monitoring tools to sift through oceans of data and alert on predetermined parameters. So as the speed of delivery increases, our distributed systems are just becoming much more complex. So we have to leverage these you know, methodologies, tried and true uh, monitoring systems, but we also have to start practicing observability to enrich the actions that we take to solve problems as they occur and drive continual improvement. So we'll talk about this in four quick ways. And uh, the first of which is using those monitoring systems, building a system that can start to help you under, uncover these unknown unknowns in your system that we're creating. And secondly, don't just set it and forget it. Uh, code, as we all know, is released multiple times per day. So we really have to observe how they inter, uh, really impact our infrastructure um, and then get those alerts to the right person at the right time to reduce MTTA and MTTR. So when alerts inevitably happen, Let's provide the most content uh, and context to our first responders so that they can reduce mean time to mobilization, collaborate, and just fix things much more quickly than they otherwise could. And then continual improvement. The only way that we can um, really improve our processes is to understand what happened, every single step of that incident life cycle, and then uh, make data-driven improvements to either reduce this incident happening again or learn from it in general. So much is happening. Um, it's impossible predict, to predict every single negative impact to your infrastructure. So of course, great idea is to have a good baseline of information and really understand what that infrastructure looks like when everything is green. However, we're human and we don't catch everything. So especially you know, as we, again, commit multiple times per day, you have to have that infrastructure layer and um, monitoring in place. But um, alerts are really only useful if they're getting to the right person at the right time. They're getting to that dev or ops person so that they can be resolved quickly. They can't just die in an email box. So tools like VictorOps, which you can talk to us more outside if you'd like, can be used to direct that alert to the right person that is currently on call and the expert that can solve it. So we've seen this in action with many customers, uh, the latest of which is PSCU. Uh, they actually reduced their MTTA from four hours to two minutes and really gained a ton of accountability because of this alerting tool. So um, speaking of the rapid increase of uh, deploys, really understanding what's going on in that in incident, 80% of the time, fake stat, but kind of true, uh, we may be causing all of these alerts to fire because we are just moving so fast. And we're testing in production. It's just kind of normal now. So if you look at that uh, cell phone with all the boxes on it, you see some delivery insights. And so what this allows you to do is observe what deploys you or your coworkers might have you know, put out into the world and might have contributed to the alert that just happened. So you have a little bit more context and data to really get to the bottom of it quickly. And speaking of context, um, one massive way to reduce mean time to mobilization and mean time to resolution is by providing the most context possible to first responders. So whether you receive an alert that you remember troubleshooting three months ago but can't really remember exactly what you did, or your first time on-call user in your new company that you just joined. Having run books, annotations, Grafana graphs, you know, attached to that alert help reduce mean time to mobilization drastically and allow you to work together to come to a resolution much more quickly. So VictorOps does ingest alerts from a Grafana, but it also allows, like I said, you to append Grafana graphs to specific alerts. So at 3 AM, you can quickly glance at the metrics at play and kind of get to work. And finally, observability is really not just asking questions of your system, but it's also about reviewing processes and taking actions to improve the firefight moving forward. 
So post-incident reviews allow your team to blamelessly review every step that happened in that incident life cycle and plan for ways to improve continuously. So maybe there's a more effective graph. Maybe this is slightly outdated. Maybe you can update a runbook for your team. Any tweaks will really help the next user move forward in the incident faster. Or you know, maybe you can even find a way to make this incident never happen again. Who knows? So that's it. That's my lightning talk. Um, if you'd like to do a trial, you can go to try.victorops.com. If you'd like to speak to us uh, specifically, we're right outside to, uh, in the exhibitor area, and we'd love to chat with you.